Hello all, welcome to my channel. In case you are watching for the first time, this is a channel on engineering studies focusing more on electrical and electronic engineering. Please check the description link for more videos. Also, please like, share and subscribe. Do click on bell icon to get notified as I upload new video on every day. So in this video, I'll be discussing most important topic that is applicable for electrical, electronics, instrumentation, and mechanical engineering students. That is PLC-based project. So I'll be showing you five major simple PLC-based project which you can able to make out within a budget. Okay. First of all, do you know what is PLC? Can anybody say about PLC? A PLC that is known as Programmable Logic Controller is an industrial computer control system that continuously monitor the state of input devices and make decision based on the custom program to control the state of output devices. It is an interfacing device. It is basically a uh, rugged computer. We can call it as PLC, Programmable Logic Controller. Okay, we have to do the custom customized program. We can able to do the customized program by using ladder logic. So based on the PLC, you can do so many projects based on interdisciplinary project also. First of all, let us identify simple PLC based project which you can able to manage it very easily and it is quite interesting. Moving on to the discussion. The first project which I would like to suggest to you is you can able to note down development of PLC based energy saver. Let us go to the brief abstract of the implementation or development of PLC based energy saver. You know that nowadays the we are facing energy crisis. Okay, uh, all the buildings need to be converted into smart building such a way that energy has to be reduced. Energy saving need energy saving has to be performed. So energy has to be saved. Okay, so it depends on the occupancy. The appliances should be turned off. Now, based on how many number of people and also if no persons or no people are available in the room, the appliances like a fan and light should be turned off automatically. Okay. Here, there, there is an IR sensor. You can call it as IR, infrared ready, IR. IR means infrared. How okay. can I assist you? So IR sensor is available. Okay. So based on the IR sensor, it is going to identify whether the occupancy is available or not, whether people are there or not. Okay, so the IR output, IR sensor will be connected to PLC. The PLC output will be connected to the light and fan load. Okay, so PLC is an inter interfacing devices. So IR output is uh, connected to the PLC input. Okay, you can call PLC here. Okay, the PLC output will be connected to the light and uh, fan. Okay, according to the availability of the people, the IR sense will activate and the PLC switch that will be turning on and turning off according to the input from the IR sensor. Okay, based on that light and fan will be operated. Okay, we require a couple of IR sensor and uh, we need a PLC. PLC kit is required. You can use any type of PLC. Okay, and also we require a regulated power supply. SMPS is required, switched mode power supply. That means the power supply is given to DC and this is to be converted to AC with the help of SMPS. Okay, because uh, the system that is installed with the AC only. So we have to convert AC into DC because PLC will be operating for 24 volt. So AC that has to be converted to DC. Clear for that SMPS is required. What are the components, major components required for completing the project? You can able to read the right, read the abstract. So which I prepared. Uh, now, what are the major components required? Let me list out the major components required for the projects are one is PLC kit. You can use any type of PLC. Okay. Uh, then we need IR sensors, then switch the mode power supply. Because AC has to be converted, AC need to be converted into DC. For that purpose, we are going to use SMPS, switch the mode power supply. Okay, PLC will be operating for 24 volt. So you can able to do the programming. You can by using the ladder logic, you know the how the programming will be done with the help of ladder diagram. Okay, ladder logic. You can use the ladder logic and you can able to do the customized program in the PLC. Okay. And that can be connected with your personal computer also. That is another uh, feature. And if you want, you can able to monitor with the help of CAD system, supervisory control and data acquisition. 
So this is a quite simple project you can able to make out uh, for BE or diploma level. Okay. Next is development of programmable logic controller based on automatic traffic and street light control system. So nowadays, if you talk about the conventional type of street lighting, that is going to operate based on the time based control. So suppose morning it has to be turned off in the day time. Okay. Uh, in the day time it has to be turned off and uh, during the uh, night time it will be activated so during the dusk and down it is it, it has to be operated but it doesn't operate during the seasonal condition seasonal condition sometimes if the traffics are more it won't give any any, any, any kind of indications okay uh, sometimes it may depends on the seasonal variation it is uh, going to operate unnecessarily and uh, that is not required. Suppose during the winter and the summer season, the operation will be different, you know, clear. Uh, so conventional type of the street lighting control system has so many drawbacks. It is having so many drawbacks. So that drawback have to be uh, mitigated by using the PLC based automatic street lighting system. Here you can use any type of PLC. For example, you can go ahead with the uh, XT26 PLC, one of the simple model of the PLC. And uh, what you are supposed to do is you have to do the program. You have to do the program based on the requirement in the by using the ladder logic. The PLC is going to operate for 20 operating voltage of PLC is 24 volt. These are the digital input you can able to see. This will be the digital output. You can see different parameters. Identify the various parameters. Okay. For example, brightness of the lamp. Okay. And based on the weather, weather parameters, everything you can able to uh, take care into consideration. Then uh, these are the street lights. Okay. So based on the parameters which you have uh, loaded in the program, the street light is going to operate. Okay. This is a customized program which you are supposed to inbuilt in the particular PLC. You are loading the program based on your requirement and you can able to maintain the uh, uh, street light system. So you can use any type of software first and virtually you have to verify. Afterwards, you can uh, load the program in the PLC. We can able to see the switches here. These are the different type of input and output IO input output switches available here. Okay, so input these are the input switches which are going to provide the PLC. The output will be connected to the particular street lighting system. So this is the way how you can able to implement uh, this particular project. Especially you can uh, use it for your final year BE project, BE or B tech project. Okay, so first of all, better do the software software simulation. Afterwards, once it is done, you can. Uh, purchase a PLC and you can able to make out. For doing the software, no need to purchase the PLC. You can able to do it in your computer itself. Okay, that is regarding uh, the second project. Moving on to the third one, it's quite interesting and it's an interdisciplinary project. Development of PLC based automatic dam shutter open close system. Okay, first of all, we need to understand uh, what is the purpose of dam. So, dam is a barrier that stops or restricts the flow of water and or uh, underground streams, you know. Dam is also used to collect the water or storage of water, which can be uh, distributed among different places or different locations. Okay. And uh, it is mainly used for the functions of dams are as follows, like uh, flood control, electricity generation, reduction in the water and the power storage, water irrigation, drinking water purpose, especially some uh, remote areas. These are the major applications of dam. So if if a human or if a normal conventional type of monitoring means it depends on some human error, personal error will be occurring. Okay, uh, some kind of uh, because we are uh, manually we are controlling means there will be a lot of errors and that, that will be badly affect the operation of the dam. Okay, it is dangerous also sometimes. So how to mitigate this issue? So we can able to use the PLC based uh, or da automatic dam shutter open and closer system can be implemented. This can be uh, applicable for civil engineering, then mechanical and electrical engineering students. It's a basically interdisciplinary and a quite interesting project. Okay, first of all, I recommend to make out by using a simple system, uh, by using a software itself, you can able to develop. That can be shown in your phase one project. So once it is uh, cleared up, you can able to implement the real time. Okay, you can do a prototype by purchasing a PLC and you can directly show the operation. So that can be done as a phase two project, main project. You know that the dam shutter open or closed system using PLC will overcome such circumstances. It will manage the water level of the reservoir automatically, unlike the uh, conventional whatever we are going to use right now. Uh, at two different level of water is uh, sensed according to the 
which the gate is closed or open based on the water level the gate will be open or gate will be opened and closed based on the water level so water level is one of the parameter uh, that is when the water level goes above the threshold mark point we have to decide a reference point the door opens okay door is going to open and it raises the burst alarm and uh, solenoid valve gets opened okay so this is one control action when the water level goes down the door shut automatically okay so these are the two major conditions you are going to observe so we require a solenoid valve and the burst the indication will be there i can use the hooter what are the components required for completion of the project you can use the level sensor then push buttons uh, then led lamps for the indication relay and dc motor okay so the dc motor that performs opening and closure of the particular uh, particular segment uh, based on the relay okay relay operation so this is actually uh, the prototype which you can able to implement for this particular project okay this is a quite interesting project and uh, you can use it for interdisciplinary branches the block diagram is shown here so we can have the inputs see these are the inputs so use the sensor okay you can use the sensor you can have the push button okay and uh, that will be connected to the programmable logic controller the output of the programmable logic controller is connected to burser or alarm motors okay uh, for the position changing the position and uh, 24 volt power supply is required here so that we are going to provide the, the common thing that 24 volt so this is the way how to implement for plc based automatic dam shutter open and close system it's quite interesting you can able to implement so another important topic which is applicable for mechanical and electrical students that is implementation of boiler automation so boiler is one of the major important parameter in every type of industry if i go for paper industry or cement industry even you can go ahead with the steam power thermal steam thermal power station in that also boiler is required for the production of steam okay so boiler is one of the major parameter but if uh, conventional manner is going on if if you use conventional manner boiler cannot be protected or boiler cannot be maintained okay there are, there will be a lot of uh, circumstances unexpected circumstances uh, due to uh, the mal operation or the poor monitoring of the boiler if i go ahead with the conventional type of boiler monitoring like a human human intervention uh, reading may not be accurate the maintenance will not be accurate many problems will be there that can be overcome with the help of plc we cannot able to directly handle the boiler because the temperature you can able to imagine that much so plc can be used in that particular situation so in this project the design and development of boiler automation using plc then scada and the sensors can be done so plc that is for the controlling action scada is for monitoring and the sensor that is checking the parameters extracting the parameters okay to identify the physical parameters to maintain the required water level in the boiler drum if the water level is exceeded it may be uh, very dangerous it will be very dangerous scada system is used to monitor the boiler feed water flow uh, then steam flow rate and water level using different sensors which is kept inside the boiler and the respective output of sensor is given to the plc controller which controls the boiler feed water and the steam what flow rate and the water today? level okay so these are the basic things you are supposed to do in the particular project if the water level inside the boiler drum exceeds or drops below a critical value then the entire system shut down so that is the one thing very very important thing you have to uh, make a program such a way that if the water level inside the boiler drum exceeds or drop down below a critical value or a reference point immediately the boiler action will be turned off and it protects the boiler and uh, it ensure high safety and the respective al alarm uh, can be raised or hooter or indication that can be raised where to the control engineers they can able to operate turned off the system immediately okay so this is a, this is the thing you are supposed to do the program inside the plc and the boiler automation ladder diagram can be designed by using rs logic 500 software interface rs logic 500 and the scada can be uh, designed scada system can be designed by using factory uh, talk view software or any other software you can able to identify so these are the one important suggestion for the project implementation so implementation of boiler automation can be uh, done by using plc and monitoring can be done by using scada you can make out with in a mtech level project you can able to use it for mtech or me level project so okay it's quite interesting the block diagram simple block diagram is shown over over the over in the slide the top side of the slide 
Next is development of PLC based motor condition monitoring of induction motor. So, you know, the induction motor, almost 80% of the industries are using uh, induction motor because of major advantages concerned compared to DC motor. If an AC motor, it operates based on Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. All the basics you must have studied in the lower semesters. So the current voltage, speed, temperature values, etc. are the major parameters we need to be considered for the induction motor. For everything rated current, there will be rated voltage, rated speed, and uh, the definite amount of temperature. All the things will be there in the nameplate rating. That has to be maintained or not, we have to monitor. So that can be done with the help of a PLC. So first of all, you have to identify the parameters. You make out the parameters, do the program, uh, make, do the program according to uh, that particular parameters. Okay, that has to be burned inside the, that has to be burned or you can call it as loaded inside the PLC. Okay, uh, so sensors, using the sensor, can uh, sensors that has to be connected to the PLC, then PLC output will be connected to the controlling units. Okay, like uh, Alram or Hooter, something can be connected. Uh, what I can say uh, to the output side. Okay, so PLC will act as an interfacing device. With the help of sensors, it is going to check the rated current, voltage, speed, etc. And the PLC will act accordingly. It, it, it works based on the program and you will be getting the output. If it is a safer speed, uh, you may not get any uh, signal or you may not get any algorithm signal. Okay, so likewise, you can able to main, uh, you implement the program. Okay, so if you want to implement the monitoring system, you can implement SCAD along with the PLC system. Okay, that is the, another option. So this is also one of the important project. Those who are uh, performing uh, MTEC in uh, machine, electrical machine, or any other type of subjects. Okay, so I have discussed five major uh, and simple topics which are concerning for uh, PLC based on the PLC and the SCADA. You can able to implement uh, such type of project in your uh, curriculum. Uh, in the coming session, I'll be discussing the remaining important topics. If you're having any queries, you can put up in the comment box. Finally, thank you for watching this video.